Hi, this is Maria with Leapwing Audio. Welcome back to another 5-minute video series. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Stage 1 in a very creative way. Automation is what makes a good mix great. Stereo widener automated? Hell yeah! Let's check it out. So usually when we're thinking about stereo wideners, we're thinking about just enhancing the overall width of our stereo signal because we need to, for example, just make our mix wider or we have an instrument that was recorded mono and then we just want it to feel like it's uh, obviously more wide in the stereophonic field or with the mix. We have so many things going on that we just need to have that side presence right so we, we stretch it out so it's sort of like it shows up in the extremes of the speakers and that way we can separate it from everything else that's going on in the right at the center but how about using stereo wideners automated to create a specific sonic effect at a specific point of a song so this is what i'm going to show you using stage one Okay, so we have this song by my friends from Colombia. It's two bands that collaborated together in this really cool track. It's Monos with San Alejo. So this song has brass, has a bunch of people singing, it has programmed drums, real drums, different types of basses, all sorts of synths. So there's a lot going on. But something that's pretty cool with this song is that it has it has very specific sections and it transitions really nicely. So with the mix, I can actually enhance those transitions and help the song build and the emotion just rise up. For that, I'm going to be using stage one. But let's go ahead and listen up what this specific synth is doing in this moment. So I'll open it up. Before I do anything, I'm just going to make sure, yeah, it's on the default setting. And the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to select, now that we've heard it, I'm going to select um, the high pass filter is going to be set to 196, 200. Basically everything that's below 200, it's going to remain towards the center. And everything else that's uh, above 200 is going to get spread apart. I'm going to listen to the synth in context again and I'm going to start playing with the width just so I can set like an overall initial width um, balance and then I'm going to build up from that. Nos dijimos adiós, pero nunca hasta siempre ambos fuimos despacio. Cool. So for now it's very subtle, but let's see what happens after I automate it. So I'm going to go ahead and the, then again, this trick works for every DAW. I'm going to do it in Pro Tools, but I'm going to select the automation preset that I want to choose. So it's going to be the width and then I uh, hit OK and then I'm going to hit touch. So what I'll do is that I'll be writing um, the fader here the width fader and as I do by listening to the music I am going to be affecting the way uh, the width uh, gets printed onto this track so let's check it out Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed this very simple but cool trick. With stage one, there's nothing to worry about. You can enhance your stereo image and have your mix go from really cool to amazing. If you have not tried stage one, go ahead to leapwingaudio.com and download your free trial. I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.